Why? Because I'm doing a recording. I shouldn't talk. Yeah, you should. Robert. Yes. What did you see the day we crossed the bridge? I don't know, gray alien or something like that. No, the bridge. When we both said, do you see that? Oh, that was a Sasquatch. Wasn't it? Right. Yeah. Big and black, wasn't he? Yeah. Now, you can tell about the alien. No, I don't want to. Okay, not right now, guys. Nope. That's my secret. Tell them about they brought you them, that little car and laid on the back door. I've, all, I've done all that. Have you? The gifts. Yep. I'm going to bring it in a little bit. We was, uh, I'll tell you, we were on our way home one night from town, got on the road before we turned onto our road. The road we were on was Carmel Road, and uh, I was on my phone. I was addicted to Facebook, and... So I was looking down, and Robert let go of the gas on the Suburban, and I said, what's wrong? And I looked at him, and even in the dark, you know, how the cab lights up inside with the dome lights and stuff, and I could see that his face was white, and he just had a look of disbelief on it. And he said, you didn't see that? I said, see what? And he said, an alien just ran in front of us from one side of the woods across the street to the next. And I said, what did it look like? And he said it was about seven and a half foot tall, eight foot slender, legs were backwards. And he said it just, uh, he said it was the blink of an eye. That's how fast it was going. And I reported it to MUFON. Mistake number one. And then Sky Watchers got a hold of it. And somehow or another the local paper got a hold of it because of Sky Watchers, I guess. And people made fun of him. You know, he's 65 years old. He's a Marine. He's got PTSD and cancer. And people laughed at him. And, he, you know, he was real angry with me that I told anyone. He said it was nobody else's business, that it was his sighting, you know. And I know it just hurt him that they made fun of him. So anyway, people are just assholes. Some are. And they think because they haven't seen one, things don't exist. I got news for you. Everything exists. So much for your mom and dad telling you it was a myth. They lied. It wasn't their fault. Because that's what they knew. But anyway, I'm going to get off here and head to the house.